Good morning, my name is Dan Murphy. I'm a lawyer based out of Edmonton. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, an employment law issue, uh, the issue of constructive dismissal. Uh, this is a question that often comes up when we're working with uh, clients who are uh, unhappy in their employment, uh, feel there's been substantial changes to their contract, and, and their question is, what do I do? When do I do it? How do I do it? Uh, constructive dismissal occurs when uh, your employer fundamentally changes the terms of your contract. This could be a demotion, this could be a change in salary, a change in role. Uh, however, uh, what's important is that if you're negatively affected by this, that you first uh, consult a lawyer, okay? Um, and do it right away. Uh, the reason why I say do it right away is because if you accept the terms and work under the new conditions, it can be seen as accepting those conditions. If you accept those conditions, then it is uh, nearly impossible to argue that you were constructively dismissed, given you were willing to work under those conditions. So what you need to do is weigh out what options you have. Informal negotiations and discussions can happen, and it's good to appear as conciliatory. So you want to, if it's possible, work this out with your employer. If not possible, uh, it's necessary, it may be necessary to resign. Uh, resigning is a, a scary prospect, and of course, uh, there's always the issue that uh, the court could find you weren't uh, constructively dismissed, but just chose to quit, in which case your claim to damages would be uh, next to nothing. So what you need to do is, uh, when you resign, uh, give reasons, uh, have your employment lawyer uh, quickly uh, prepare a document, a letter, uh, explaining uh, the reason for resignation, and also set out your demands for severance. Severance uh, may be reduced if you fail to negotiate, fail to be reasonable. So always act as a reasonable party. Even if you feel your employer is completely unreasonable, it, it is incumbent upon you as the employee to be reasonable in these circumstances because you're the one who's going to be claiming damages against the employer. So if in, in, in summary, what you need to do is one, if you feel this is happening, if you feel your employment has changed uh, dramatically, you need to contact an employment lawyer. You need to also uh, usually uh, write a written objection to the change in employment or at least voice that opinion uh, to your employer. Writing is always better because obviously you have a paper trail. If this happens, you should be able to claim uh, for severance and uh, under the uh, constructive dismissal head and you should be able to uh, get yourself some compensation for the change that was made unilaterally without your input or feedback. This is the type of uh, dismissal that happens quite often. Uh, employers will often switch around roles and it is again, as I say, incumbent upon the employee to say, that's not acceptable to me. I need uh, you to adjust my role back to what it was or uh, there has to be an accommodation made. And if you do these things, uh, this is going to greatly increase your chances uh, in front of a judge or in negotiations of receiving uh, the settlement you deserve. So that is a uh, very brief discussion of constructive dismissal. And uh, in terms of your uh, what you're owed or award, uh, come in for a consultation with us. We'll walk you through, uh, it's based on a number of factors, type of position, years you held the position, and uh, your age and employability uh, are, are a few of the factors. And there's also aggregating factors which may be present, which will increase uh, your actual award. So uh, that's uh, all I have to say uh, about uh, the employment law issue today. But I want you to know we do help uh, employees uh, in these situations. It is an area of law uh, that we do uh, practice. And as I say, we are litigators. We are more than happy to go to court. Uh, we all come from backgrounds where uh, trials are a common occurrence here. So if you want a, a strong litigation team uh, who will negotiate on your behalf, please contact us today. 
uh, all you have to do is shoot me an email at dan at m as in michael d as in daniel lawgroup.ca all right thank you i hope you have a good rest of the week take care